The Vox Markets Podcast with Justin Waite. Nothing in this podcast is intended as investment advice and the people in this podcast may hold positions in the stocks they talk about. Do not buy anything based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research. And joining me on the podcast right now is Andrew Knott, CEO of Savannah Energy, S-A-V-E is ticker. Andrew, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yeah, out there in Lagos, and you announced today uh, that your subsidiary, First Independent Power Limited, has had its gas sales agreement extended. So, uh, if you could, before we go into that, Andrew, just uh, as always, a quick summary as to what Savannah Energy is all about, please. Okay, so, so, so Savannah Energy is a British um, energy company focused around delivering a project that matters in Africa. And we're really very passionate about that. So all of the projects that we're involved in make a systematic difference to the countries in which we are we are involved in. We're currently involved in four countries, uh, Niger, Nigeria, Chad, uh, and Cameroon. Uh, in Niger, we have five oil discoveries. We're in the process of uh, commercialising and a large bank of exploration prospects. We've also announced that we are... Um, uh, progressing what would be the largest, uh, one of the largest wind farm projects in Africa uh, that would increase uh, a, a full potential for the, 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 the country's electricity supply by 40%. Um, in Nigeria, we supply the gas for up to 15% of the country's per, uh, per, per installed power infrastructure, uh, which is obviously very important, very significant, uh, given the importance of power to, to, to the development of the country. Uh, and in Chad and Cameroon, we're in the process of acquiring a, um, uh, one of the principal uh, uh, oil uh, producing assets and, and, and transportation networks uh, in, in that country. Um, net, net, the business is highly cash flow generative and has a lot of growth. And we can talk through some of that um, later on. Yeah, excellent stuff. Okay, so uh, explain this, uh, talk us through this uh, gas sales extension uh, agreement, if you could, Andrew. Yeah, okay, no problem. So the um, our, the, the Nigerian business that we have is the principal source of cash flow generation that we have in the business um, today. Um, one of our customers is a company called the Sahara Group through a subsidiary FIPL, First Independent Power Limited. Uh, we've been supplying one of the large power plants now uh, over the course of the past year. Um, we've extended that contract to include another two of Sahara's um, power plants, Transamad and Olemi. Um, and what that sees is us now being contracted to supply up to 65 MMCF per day, um, which the incremental plus 35 that we're announcing this morning, to put that into context, we produced about 120 last year in total. Uh, so that's versus that total on, on a day when we supplied that incremental volume, that would increase volumes by approximately 30%. Um, so it's potentially a very significant contract um, for our business, um, and I think it's important just to just to just to reflect on how that Nigerian business has performed under our ownership. Um, we've now seen uh, the over the last five years uh, the compound annual growth rate in EBITDA has been seventeen percent. The compound annual growth rate in total revenues has been fifteen percent for the gas business and for on on the gas side. Revenue, total revenues have increased every year for that past five years as well. Uh, and the EBITDA margin that's been generated now under our ownership is in the high 70s uh, percent. So really that's a business that since we've taken over ownership of, we've completely transformed. Um, uh, it's become highly cash flow generative and, and delivered consistently strong growth. Um, in terms of the, the, the rationale for doing more with Sahara, it's, it's very simple. The, the, the partnership has worked very well to date. Uh, we enjoy working with Sahara. We think they're a very good company. Um, and we're certainly open to doing more projects with them in the future. So um, it's really an extension of a successful partnership that gives people more visibility of the sorts of places that we can deliver further growth from in our Nigerian business over the course of the coming months and years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you could, Andrew, you know, touch on uh, progress at other parts of the business, if possible. Yeah, so we talked about the um, the, 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 Niger Renew the, the Niger Renewables project. I'm confident that we'll be announcing further renewable deals um, over the course of the coming months. I've said previously that we are focused on projects that matter. As I've said previously, that we're focused on doing larger scale projects rather than smaller scale projects. Um, and so I think you will expect us to be looking at 
those sorts of projects in the future, and that's the sort of project that we should be announcing. So, large-scale renewable projects with uh, that 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 will make a significant difference in the countries in which we operate. That's the, that's that's where I would expect expect the, the renewable side to go on. In terms of the hydrocarbon side of the business, we still remain in an opportunity-rich environment. Um, and I'd be confident that we'll be able to announce further transactions in the hydrocarbon space again uh, over the course of the coming months. Um, and then in terms of there's the closing of the Chad Cameroon acquisitions uh, that we've announced to come. And then we have the refinancing of our Nigerian business, which will we could see it free up a significant amount of cash in the business for us to reinvest elsewhere on completion. Uh, and uh, the, the, in the Niger hydrocarbon business, we, we, we hope to be able to announce news uh, in terms of a recommencement of drilling uh, activity and the development of the R3 East area again over the course of the coming months. So there's a lot of activity ongoing in the business, both organic and inorganic, but um, we'll see us continue to deliver the growth that we've discussed and that, that we've talked about in the past, and, and you can see it coming through now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, if you could then, Andrew, summarise all that in three bullet points. As you know, on the front page of Vox, there are 10 companies that are most followed. That changes all the time as people hit those follow buttons. So uh, give us three quick bullet points as to why someone should hit that follow button on your page and add Savannah Energy to their watch list, please. Okay, the first thing is we're a company that makes a real difference in the countries in which we operate, a real material difference. We're helping to lift millions of people out of poverty. I don't think there's many companies can say that. And the quality of the asset base that we have that is enabling us to do that is very, very strong, it's very, very robust. And the quality of the cash flow stream that we're generating from that, the visibility, for example, in in, uh, in Nigeria, we have $4.2 billion of contracted cash flows over the next 16 years. Um, the asset that we're acquiring in, in Chad and Cameroon, the pipeline is the largest oil pipeline in West Africa, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Really very high quality assets that make a real, real difference to the countries in which we operate. Secondly, as we just talked about, there's a lot of news that will come out. So the Chad Cameroon acquisition, the refinancing of our debt, the Niger development, more renewables deals, more hydrocarbon deals, probably more contracts in, 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 in Nigeria as well. So I think we're going to continue there'll be a lot of uh, information and news given the size of the business that we have now the very strong operating base that we have which we can now leverage to really go and accelerate the rate of growth within the underlying business excellent stuff and um, good, go on yeah. No, no, that's, that, that, that's, that, that's, that's plenty. That's Andrew, plenty. it's good to chat to you, fella. And listen, you've got lots going on, so and no doubt we'll be catching up in the not-too-distant future. Thank you very much. Yeah, one last thing, Justin. What I would, what I would urge people to do is uh, to follow us on our social media, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. We're very active, and there's a lot of updates um, around aspects of the business and more colour and, and bringing things to, to, to life more visually. So... Um, I do think for people that are interested in the business, following us on social media is, is, is a very helpful way to help to get immersed in what we're doing and the difference that we're making. Extra stuff, no problem. Thanks. Speak soon, Andrew. Bye bye. The Vox Markets Podcast with Justin Waite. Nothing in this podcast is intended as investment advice, and the people in this podcast may hold positions in the stocks they talk about. Do not buy anything based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research.